Today we're going to look at that new cordless screwdriver, the ones that you guys have already seen. Well, this is the official unboxing. This one's actually very good. It took me a few seconds to figure out how it worked, but um, this one is definitely a winner. Check this one out. Got another gadget to show you guys. This one from Sweet Sequer. This is a SQE S126 smart screwdriver. And this is the official unboxing. It's still sealed in its package. Look at that, huh? Comes with a USB C charging cord. I think it's a charging cord. What else do we have in this package? We have package of bits. Very cool. We've got a bunch of little torques and bits. Security bits and regular Torx bits. Perfect for taking apart cell phones. Stuff. And uh, these are magnetic. Looks like this is magnetic. This case. And there's also a A driver, a hand driver, so that you can work with a hand driver or, I guess this one's battery powered. So the SQES 126 is an MCU based. STM32 equipped it with a high definition OLED screen. Supports Type C 5 volt power supply and firmware upgrade. And allows the use in comfort in dark environments as it's got some LEDs in the front. As you see before. It says get, uh, gear setting standby interface. Press the A or B key a few times in a row to enter gear setting interface. And press the key to select the working gear for the screwdriver. After selection is complete, long press or release your hand to wait for the data to be saved automatically and return to standby. Just change your torque setting just to press the button three times. And then you can select auto. Progressive. Uh, let's see here. Setting one. Well, that's pretty. That's pretty. That's pretty. Uh, uh, pretty strong. Let's try four. Yeah, four stops a lot easier. So four is a. And one is the is the highest torque. Yeah, I can't stop that one. That's a strong one. Let's just see how this removes screws. I'll try out this new screwdriver. See how this thing works. Oh, it works pretty good for these little screws. I like it already. And it fits them too. 
all the arrow mark screws. Okay, now let's try it out. Installing screws. I've got the screwdriver set in the auto torque mode, so this is a plastic screw going into plastic, and it stops at the perfect torque. Excellent. I like it. It's this screwdriver is kind of cool. To use it, I just push the button and then rotate which direction I want it to go. So if I turn it to turn it to the right, it'll it'll screw it in. If I turn it to the left, it'll unscrew it. So I put the screw in place, press the button, and just give it a bit of a turn, and that's it. It's uh, it's pretty slick. I'm liking this screwdriver. You're gonna see it in a lot of videos, especially when things that are small like this. I think this is very cool. And it's going to be a welcome addition to my my tools. The uh, bits themselves. This is where this the, this kit really excels. Is the the kit the bits? So it comes with your standard bits with the holes in them. These are security bits. It comes with this one here is a, a hex. Right. These are these ones are torques with the hole, and these ones are hex keys and it shows you the different uh, bits that has got and say this this is magnetic so it holds the bits in place bits aren't going to fall out you see it'll hold the the manual driver as well as all of your bits and the bits it comes with as you can see it's got and they're all stamped too with the size for all the different applications. An H1.5 and an H2.6 and this one here is a, a torque, a security bit, torque T10 H And that one's a T15, is it? T15. Then we've got some more over here. This one here is a T8. So it's got all the common common sizes. This one's just a standard T4. So you've got all your standard Torx sizes, both security and standard. Then you've got the, the micro size uh, slotted screws. It even comes with a Y1 bit. As you can see, this is just a three-sided, it's not a Phillips. It's a three-sided bit. So it comes with all your standard security bits that you're going to need to get into cell phones and other small devices like laptops, tablets, all those other tiny devices. In that case, you can use the standard manual tool. You've got a large number of screws, the battery-powered rechargeable smart driver is an option. For small jobs, it's obviously not going to be used to take apart, say, a VCR or something because it doesn't have the torque. But it does have it does have a fair bit of torque, and it will remove screws from smaller devices. But perfect little kit. Wow, I say I uh, think I'm going to find a lot of uses for this one. I'm going to charge up the battery on this now because I notice it's not charged. So I've got my USB-C adapter plugged in. There we go, starting to charge. So I'm going to charge this up and uh, we'll be using it in future videos. I'm absolutely positive.
couldn't be happier. Now I've got another another set of small Phillips. These are actually aren't Phillips. They're I think they're probably JIS. These ones. It says Phillips on it though, so maybe they are Phillips. Phillips zero. Phillips double zero and Phillips triple zero. Will come in handy when I work on camcorders. And I'm going to be working on a camcorder next. We'll use this one. As opposed to using my my Sony. My little Sony screwdriver. We'll try this one out this time. It's probably this, I think this is a double zero. It's equivalent to a double zero. Pretty sure that's the same size. Anyway, I just figured I would show this little this little kit off that I received. Very nice. Give them some free advertising. There we go. Thanks for watching. We'll uh, catch you in the next one real soon. Bye for now.